You can't even get dressed if you don't have these five wardrobe essentials. I'm going to share what I consider the five most essential wardrobe essentials that every woman should have in her wardrobe and ideas on how to wear them. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to 2022. I'm so excited. I have so much planned for you in 2022 on this channel and really helping you dive into your wardrobe, build a wardrobe in a style that you love so that you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. You know that's my my reason for being here. Um, and also to help you love your body, um, accessorize well, feel and look beautiful every single day. So excited to get started. 2022 is going to be a great year. Uh, okay, today I'm going to talk about five wardrobe essentials that I think every woman needs in her wardrobe. Now, these are things that you've heard about before. They're not like revolutionary things. You're not going to be like, oh my God, goodness, I had no idea I needed X. But I wanted to get into why these are important, give you some outfit ideas for them. And then in future videos, I'm going to dissect each of these essentials and do a video that's dedicated to each of these essentials separately so that we can kind of break down what you're looking for, um, what's important about them, the details to look for, and I'm going to share my picks and reviews of these individual items in future videos. But today I just wanted to give you an overview of the five wardrobe essentials that I believe every single woman needs in her wardrobe. And like I said, I'm going to offer you some great outfit ideas so you can see why I think these are so important. Okay, the first wardrobe essential, again, this is, not, this, is, this is not something, I'm praying this is something that each of you have in your wardrobe, but um, when you're looking at these essentials, staples, basics, whatever you want to call them, um, you want to make sure that you have the best, the go-to, um, one that you absolutely love in this category, at least one that you absolutely love in this category. So the first category is jeans, of course. So jeans have changed in the last couple of years. And if you asked me um, a couple of years ago what um, I would have considered the essential pair of jeans, I would have said you want a skinny, dark pair with an even wash. Well, I've, I've changed a little bit on that. Now you can still do absolutely a dark pair with an even wash, but in my opinion, um, a skinny is not the most contemporary look right now. Um, if you're going to do a skinny, I recommend doing it with higher boots, or I recommend maybe doing a coated, uh, coated skinny jean, or maybe like a really faded skinny jean. But the most contemporary look right now is a jean with a little bit more room through the leg. And that's going to depend on your body type. And we'll get into that more in the, in the video that I'm going to do specifically on denim. But you want, you want jeans that are specific to your body type. So you want them to be flattering. You want a little bit more room through the leg. I will say that skinny jeans were hard to wear for a lot of women. So instead of bemoaning like we all have the the demise of the skinny jean which they really haven't gone anywhere um we instead i encourage you to look at uh, um the different options and to kind of view it as okay we have more options now than we've ever had before now not that we've lost the skinny jean we've gained more options and for most women the skinny jean really was not all that flattering to begin with so let's welcome some of these new styles you want to look for a straight leg you want to look for a boyfriend or girlfriend you want to look for um a, a boot cut a wide leg a trouser jean there are just so many different options now um also, yes, the dark dark wash jeans are probably going to be one of the most versatile, but don't discount a medium wash jean, which can be equally versatile. So you really want to, it depends on your lifestyle, right? You really want to look at your lifestyle and say, do I ever wear jeans with, you know, and, and need to wear them in a really, really dressy way or in a really professional way? If not, then maybe, maybe a medium wash jean is that perfect balance of, you know, you can dress it down with a casual uh, tee or you can dress it up with a silky blouse and it's still going to have that same versatility for you. So ask yourself, you know, those questions. But medium wash to dark wash is going to be the most versatile in terms of you can dress it up, you can dress it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of someone dressing up a more relaxed and casual pair of jeans. This is jeans with a blazer and a great pair of neutral boots. And of course the dog is the cutest accessory of all, but really this outfit is, you know, starts with these really casual pair of jeans. And then she's adding um, a couple of other wardrobe essentials, uh, uh, which I'm gonna be covering in this video, a blazer and like a tee, and, or in this case, maybe like a turtleneck. Um, so very casual. And again, oh, I really like the juxtaposition 
of um, a dressier blazer with these really casual jeans. Okay, next outfit is love these jeans. Again, let's let's embrace all the denim silhouettes. This yes her waist is tiny but a pair of jeans that flares out like this creates a line that goes in towards your waist and really will minimize a tummy area so of course she's wearing it you know dramatically with a beautiful blouse and a you know great pair of boots or you know pointy shoes but that's a great silhouette and something a great pair of jeans can do for you is really play up your strengths and downplay your weaknesses when it comes to your body the areas that you don't love as much you don't have to to show off in jeans you can find a pair of jeans that really flatter your body and these definitely do that for her um, okay so really relaxed jeans look like you want to run around town but you still want to look like hip and cool um, so she's wearing the white jeans uh, or the white tee that is further on my essentials list and white sneakers that I think everybody should own they are the cool comfort shoe so rather than comfort shoes that look like comfort shoes choose a sneaker a slouchy pair of jeans great neutral bag easy easy peasy right Okay, um, now dressing up again. This is a kind of a little bit of a faded distressed pair of jeans, but she's dressing it up a little bit with um, a pair of classic. These might be Chanel cap toe flats or it might be a, you know, a knockoff. It doesn't really matter. It's just a very classic look. Classic neutral bag and a white button down shirt. Okay, so all these different outfits that you can do with a pair of jeans and a couple of basics. I love this. These women are twinning in um, these beautiful medium wash jeans. Again, check out the jean silhouettes. They're wearing slightly different jean silhouettes, but they're both super, super flattering and neither of them are very, very skinny. They're wearing black boots, a, a navy sweater, um, again, styled a little bit differently, and then these long gold necklaces. So it's all about the details when you're really wearing outfits with very basic and essential pieces like this. What makes them look Look, elevated and stylish are the accessories that, that you bring into the mix. So you would wear these differently than these women are. I would wear them differently than you would. And that's really where you bring your own personal style and your personality into these pieces. Okay, let's talk about the next um, wardrobe essential and that's a pair of dark neutral pants now when you're looking at choosing these essentials with the exception of jeans because everyone's jeans are going to be blue um, i encourage you to pick a light neutral and a dark neutral of of your choice right so if your dark neutral is navy or charcoal or chocolate these are going to be a navy or charcoal or chocolate for those of us whose dark neutral is black most of these pictures are all of these pictures are going to have black pants but you can do these exact same looks no matter what your dark neutral is so this is an elevated dressier dark neutral pant look she's wearing these beautiful black high-waisted pants and a white button-down shirt tucked into them very very elegant again what makes these beautiful i mean you don't even see hardly the accessories here except for the earrings what you're seeing is a beautiful fit a tailored fit like the pants fit her beautifully the jacket fits her or the shirt fits her beautifully and that's what makes this outfit come to life otherwise the the danger of a white button down shirt and black pants is that we can look like a server at a restaurant you know it can look very very boring but when those pieces are interesting when they're elegant when they fit beautifully and when they're great quality and that doesn't mean necessarily expensive but when they're great quality they're going to look chic like they do here okay so here is a more casual opposite end of the spectrum with um, black pants and a white tee white sneakers again same outfit formula with the jeans but she swapped out a pair of relaxed casual black pants you want to ask yourself what are you what is your go-to black pants or navy pants or charcoal pants what are they going to look like in terms of silhouette i'm going to cover some options in my video on these but you want a pair that you can dress up or dress down ideally um, and these are great for that so it looks like she's wearing jogging here or something so those are going to be primarily casual but um, white tee white white um, sneakers and it's just super super easy okay uh, not an, a more elevated again black pant look this is a black skinny worn with a beautiful flat a blazer and a tee so super super easy you have these pieces in your wardrobe if you have these pieces in your wardrobe and you should after this video because that's what these are the pieces I'm covering um, you can put these outfits together easily yourself so you want again that light neutral and the dark neutral medium neutral in this video could count your, your chambray your denim could count as your medium neutral or you could go with something like this like a camel um, a medium gray a blush whatever that medium neutral color is for you just gives you those three different neutrals that you can pair together and create beautiful outfits like this
Okay, this is another elevated uh, look with black pants, a black top tucked into the black pants, beautiful belt, beautiful shoes, beautiful bag, and then she's wearing her medium neutral in a coat. And so chic, so polished, you can, you can wear this outfit almost anywhere. Okay, um, this last outfit is a pair of loafers. It looks like loafers. I'm having a hard time seeing this on my phone. And a pair of black skinny pants and a relaxed tee or a relaxed sweater. So again, she got that medium neutral going on in the top and then everything else is monochromatic and chic and polished. So absolutely love that look. So very similar to the last outfit formula where you've got a light top and um, a neutral jacket. So you've got the white tee and then you've got a neutral camel. It can be blush, it can be chambray blue, it can be whatever that color is. Topper on the outside, black pants and black flats. This could not be simpler. This is a super, super simple outfit formula. The reason that, that it works so well for her is because everything flatters her. That's, that's the key, right? Okay, the next basic that I wanna talk about is a white shirt. Now, a white shirt is something that you can wear open, you know, as a cover-up, as I'm showing here, over a bathing suit. Um, you can wear it open as a layering piece. You can wear it with a couple buttons open to show a cute top or cute tank underneath it. Um, you can wear it closed. You can wear it um, in a polished and dressier way. You can wear it in a relaxed way. So, I really think a white or off-white button-down shirt is a real wardrobe essential. Yes, you can find them if you've got a full bust. Yes, you can find them to flatter every single body. They are, there is a white shirt out there for everybody. And I really think it's that, that really essential piece. Okay, so here there's a white shirt. This is Meghan Markle wearing a white shirt with a front tuck with a pair of relaxed jeans and a pair of neutral pointy toe flats. I think these are the Sarah Flint Natalie flats. I'm not positive, but they're similar style to that and very, very chic and then a big neutral bag. So see, you've got the, the, the white, the denim, and then she's got her medium neutral, which is this beige, this camel kind of color in the bag and the shoes, really elegant. Okay, so another, this is very simple, very elegant, white, tailored button-down shirt tucked into jeans worn with loafers and this this look has not changed much in the last 50 years or so right super super classic super simple but also really elegant okay love this look so she's wearing a little bit more of a relaxed white shirt tucked into a relaxed slightly wider leg pair of faded jeans and a pair of slides um, just really really cute again she's got a neutral pair of slides and then she's got a neutral bag in a different neutral color and it's just such a cute and relaxed and effortless look Okay, so here, white shirt comes out for summer, right? So she's wearing um, shorts and a shirt, like a t-shirt or something. Really cute shoes, really cute bag. And then this slouchy, oversized, it looks like it could be her husband's shirt, white button-down shirt worn open. Um, it gives you a little bit more coverage if you're wearing shorts and you kind of want like the shirt to come down below the shorts in the back. It gives you a little bit more coverage, so I think that's awesome. But just a, a really, really cute look. Again, what makes these all work is how they've put them together, how they've accessorized them, and the fact that everything fits beautifully. Okay, next look, I love this. This is a white button down shirt with jeans and a pair of slides. Really, really cute, really simple. And then she's wearing like a jardigan over it. I don't know if anyone's still using that term anymore, but it's a jacket cardigan hybrid kind of thing. So if you feel like a blazer is a little too dressy for your lifestyle, a piece like this can really work. It's like a knit blazer and super, super chic. Now that could be your medium neutral of choice, this beautiful rust brown color. It's just gorgeous. And it works really well with the white, the denim, the, the dark neutral, etc. Okay, so I love that. Uh, another white shirt look is you can wear it as a topper, as a, a completer piece like she did with shorts. You can do it here over a dress, knotted at the waist. You feel like you need a little bit more coverage or maybe you want a little um, flattery in the tummy area. Maybe you're wearing a dress that's a little bit too fitted and you want to conceal the tummy area a little. A white shirt knotted at the waist strategically like this will be a great choice. Um, here's another white shirt knotted at the waist, worn with a midi skirt and white sneakers. It's so many options with this white shirt. I, if I haven't convinced you yet to get a white button down shirt, I hope these outfits will convince you because it is such a wardrobe essential. Okay, next wardrobe essential I want to talk about is a tee. Now you want a tee in your, at least in your light and dark neutral, white 
and blue, or navy, white and black, white and gray, whatever those are, um, those are the minimum that you want. You want a flattering neckline, you want a flattering silhouette, you want a great tee. And I'm again going to dive into tees in a future video, but today I just wanted to show you like here she's wearing a tee with what looks like a pantsuit, and it's just a way to make a, a dressier outfit like a pantsuit look a little bit more um, casual, a little bit more relaxed. Um, here, white tee with jeans, uh, sneakers, and a long cardigan. Very, very easy, effortless, comfortable, everyday running around town kind of look. But still, the details are what's going to take this from a boring t-shirt and jeans to an interesting t-shirt and jeans, right? It's a cool pair of jeans, it's a cool cardigan, great sneakers, like all of those details are what makes this a cute outfit. Um, okay, here again, a T, jeans, and this is very different, T, jeans, and a cardigan, but this is a dressier look, right? So she's got a kind of dressier pieces. Um, even though the jeans are still relaxed, she's dressed them up with a little bit more of a, a more polished cardigan look. And then she's got those great boots, which really just kind of, to me, make the whole outfit sing. The importance of accessories, right? Okay, here, um, very casual T, jeans, you know, very casual neutral shoes. So what, what makes this look so stylish is she's got a great tee, she's got great jeans, she's got great shoes, and then she's got great styling, like her hair, her makeup, like a lot of times we'll put on a really casual outfit like that and then we won't bother to do our hair or our makeup and we'll be like, why do I feel so schleppy in this? Well, it's because we didn't take those extra steps that make you feel really cute. So she, you know, she's polished, she's got the beauty, aspect going on there. She's got her hair done. She's got a great pair of sunglasses, a great necklace, all of the things. And that's what takes a t-shirt and jeans out of a boring uh, category and makes them stylish. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a jacket. Now, most of the time when I'm talking about a jacket, I'm talking about a blazer, but I know that a blazer isn't for everybody. I think it's for almost everybody, but it's not for everybody. My mom and sister personally will not wear blazers, do not like blazers, and there are a lot of options to blazers. You can choose a casual jacket. You can choose a cardigan, although I would suggest having at least one slouchy, drapey, um, completer piece in your wardrobe like a cardigan and one with a bit more structure. Now, if it's not going to be a blazer, it can be a utility jacket, it can be a moto jacket, it can be a bomber, it can be, um, there's so many options that are not blazers, but I will say that a blazer is, a, is, in my opinion, a wardrobe basic that you can wear so many different ways. And all of these pieces are things that you can wear so many different ways, and that's why they made it on this list. So I'm going to show you if, I, if, if you need a little convincing that a blazer might be for you and I will also tell you there are knit blazers out there if you feel like a tailored like woven blazers is too much for your lifestyle right now there are knit blazers out there that can give you this polish but in a more relaxed feel so look at this outfit I just love this outfit again she's wearing now that all the all the wardrobe essentials right she's wearing the tee the jeans great polished blazer and then she's wearing nude pumps so that's your media that can be your medium neutral if you want it to be or camel pumps and a and a clutch super 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 chic but also super simple like i will look at this outfit in 10 years and it will still look just as chic as it does now um okay so this is beth dejali i love this outfit on her so she's wearing um, a white button down shirt uh, a a blazer that's got like a little stripe going through it and this is a travel outfit and then she's wearing jeans a pair of flats and then she's got her travel bag so very elegant easy polished way to travel the sunglasses just kind of make the whole outfit sing in my opinion okay here's another blazer look this is a, a white or off-white blazer another great option is to, to choose the blazer in your light neutral doesn't have to or your medium neutral does not have to be black or navy and high-waisted jeans, she's wearing a white tee, a pretty necklace, sneakers, and a cute little bag. So pull the whole outfit together, but the blazer really is what makes this outfit come to life. Um, so I hope that these ideas uh, have inspired you to really focus on these wardrobe essentials because a lot of times we go to a store and we buy maybe this is just me but we see the shiny objects we see the fun stuff we see the colorful stuff and the pattern stuff and the interesting stuff and trust me i love that stuff but if you want those pieces to really work in your wardrobe and to come together in outfits you're going to need the essentials and these are the building blocks of a beautiful wardrobe yes 
you've heard them before. Yes, we can find them boring on their own, but as you can see, when, when put together into outfits, they're anything but boring. They are polished, they're elegant, they're timeless, they're effortless. They're all the things that most of us really want in our style. And if you've got funkier style, more whimsical style, more creative style, these are going to be the pieces that are gonna ground the more interesting, more eclectic pieces that you have in your wardrobe. So I hope that this inspired you to really dive into each of these essentials. Look at the ones that you have in your own wardrobe and decide how you can improve them, enhance them, um, how you can wear them and mix them together differently to create some of these stylish and inspirational outfits. Again, I'm going to dive into each one of these in a future video, but let me know in the, in, the, in the comments below which of these essentials you're still looking for in your own wardrobe, what your challenges are around them so that I can cover that when I cover that essential in a future video. Thank you as always for sticking to the end of this video. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe subscribe button, comment, the notification bell, all of the things, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.